Hi, I'm Dr. Jyoti Patil, consultant gynecologist and an IVF specialist. I'm the clinical director of Janani Fertility Gynecare, which is in ACS layout, Whitefield, Bangalore. I also practice at Rainbow Hospital, Smarathaldi, Bangalore. Is IVF painful? I don't think so. The pain of IVF is more mental than physical. See, IVF is basically taking injections and these injections are like insulin injections. So you've seen so many diabetics who are there in our family, our elders who will be taking everyday insulin injection. And in IVF, we are going to take injections only for 10 to 12 days. So basically, in terms of injection, I don't think so. It's a painful procedure. Second comes the egg pickup. Egg pickup is not painful because we do it under anesthesia. So you won't get to know. You will be totally unconscious and it is hardly a 5 minutes procedure. Post procedure, there might be a little bit of abdominal cramps and that's all. And the next thing is an embryo transfer. Embryo transfer is an absolute painless procedure. It doesn't even require an anesthesia. So what is the pain of IVF? It's basically, it's a waiting time. Waiting in an IVF clinic or the infertility clinic, waiting for your scans, blood tests, waiting for your appointments and waiting to know whether the IVF is going to be successful or not. The important thing in an IVF and what matters to you, which create a pain, is whether your IVF is going to be successful. Are you going to get pregnant in the first attempt? So this is the one, you know, which causes a lot of tension in you. We get a success rate of around like 60 to 65 percent. So basically, from where this success comes? It comes from your own egg quality and from your husband's sperm quality. So when we do an IVF, the procedure wise, the injection wise, the technique wise, the ICSI wise, it's everything the same. It's the same lab, the same clinician. But why is it we get pregnancy of 60 to 65, why not 100 percent? What is different? The different is your own egg and sperm, your body, the way your body reacts is different. So if an IVF doesn't get successful in first time, it doesn't mean it is not going to happen again. It is not the end of the world. There are so many couples who have conceived in first time, who have not conceived in first, who have conceived in second time, third time. So here at Janani Fertility, we do understand the pain, what you are going through, what are your anxiety levels and we handhold you the whole process of IVF and we assure you 60 to 65% chance of pregnancy. All the best.